I'm going to introduce you to some venomous snakes. Before we start, I'd like to know how many people know about snakes. How many different varieties of snakes do you guys know? Let's count them. What type do you know? King brown. King brown bee. Carpet snake. Red belly black, yes. Australian snake. Yeah, let's go Australian. Sorry? Tiger snake. That's four. Brown. Oh, I think we've done the brown. Taipan. Copperhead. Copperhead. Tree snake. Tree snake. Jeez, we're going well. Death adder. Death adder. That's eight so far. Python. Which one? Python. Oh, there's about 20 different types of pythons. What about the black headed yeah. python? There we go. We'll add him on. I'll help you out a little. Okay, so we're up to nine. All right, nine will do us. We've got another <laughs> hunt. Sorry? Sea snake. Anaconda. There's about 30 species of sea snake, but we'll add him on to there. Anaconda. Okay, anaconda, that's a South American Told snake. <laughs> okay, so we've got 10. Let's say we've got 10 snakes. We've got about 180 to go. That's in Australia. And many of those species vary a lot in their colour and pattern. Brown snakes and tiger snakes. I've seen brown snakes with stripes and tiger snakes without them. You can't tell what kind of snake it is just by colour and pattern alone. Now, most of those snakes that you guys mentioned are daytime snakes. And they're browns and blacks. Most of our snakes are nocturnal. That three quarter of the snakes up here are nocturnal. I see them, but nobody else does because they're asleep. So that just goes to show how many snakes we really know. So if we see a brown coloured snake, we call it a brown snake. Well, we're not wrong, it is brown coloured. But that doesn't make it the venomous brown snake. In fact, there's some legless lizards that look like snakes, of course, they don't have legs, and they can be brown. Many snakes with stripes that aren't tiger snakes. In fact, some of them are harmless, but you guys don't know, so don't go near them. What I'm trying to do is to show everybody that you can't tell what kind of snake it is just by colour or <coughs> This one here, however, is pretty easy to identify. What colour is he on top? We can see it? Black. Black. I'll just lift him up a little. And he's red underneath. The red belly black snake. Now, this is the only type of black snake that you will find on the east coast of Australia. There's no such thing as a yellow belly black snake. Oh, no problems at all. You'll see snakes that are dark black with yellow underneath them. But that's another species of snake. Could be anything. Could be the yellow-bellied sea snake. There's one of those sea snakes for you. There's one. There are many different colours of snakes. There's the blue belly black, which is found on the western slopes of northern New South Wales and southern Queensland. The collet snake, which is a member of the black snake, found in central Queensland. And the king brown, guess what? It's a brown-coloured black snake. If you got bitten by a king brown, you're going to get black snake antivenom. If you got brown snake antivenom, you'd probably die. We call it the mulga snake now because it's not king of the browns. This guy here, however, you can't mistake really. He lives around the waterways, mostly eating frogs, lizards, mice, tadpoles, even fish and eels. He's also one of those cannibals. He'll eat other snakes. In fact, I've seen him eat brown snakes. I've got photos of it. And the brown snake that it was eating was actually longer than the snake's body. Isn't that amazing? How they do that is by using their strong muscles around their stomach and concertina the snake in that way so it all fits in. Isn't that amazing? Now these guys are very shy. They try to get away at all costs, as do most snakes. The only snake I know that won't try to get away first before defending itself is the death adder. That snake relies on camouflage. It's a short, fat snake that can hardly move fast at all. I call him the norm of the snake world. He just hangs it out in the leaf litter. He has a funny looking tail that looks like a worm. He puts that near his head and then wiggles it. A lizard or a bird sees it and that attracts it towards the snake and the snake can see it coming. The death adder is one of the fastest striking snakes in the world and that's not so it can bite us. It's so it can grab whatever's trying to grab his tail. You see, if the bird or lizard grabbed his tail, that's it. Probably end of the death adder. That's his meal ticket. That's why he gets his food. That's why it's fast. Most other snakes will try to get away. Well, that's my experience anyway. And I've been doing this for probably about 38 years. In fact, Mum remembers back when I was only eight. That's when I brought that first snake home. 
Okay, whenever I've gone up to a snake out in the bush and I've gone to try and grab him, which I don't suggest anybody else does, the snake has definitely tried to get away and then once it feels that it can't, it'll turn around and defend itself. I call it defense because I'm the aggressor, of course, I'm chasing the snake. With my experience, if I haven't done anything to the snake, it's got away. What? There is no snake out there that uses venom in Australia for defense. In fact, snakes don't even really know they have it. All they know is that if they bite the frog, the bird, the lizard, or other snake, is that it dies. And it only tends to bite those things that it can actually eat. When they bite humans, most of the time they don't even inject venom. We call it a dry bite. Up to 5,000 people get bitten and only about 300 of those are given anti-venom. So we call it a fright bite. You don't know whether you've been bitten and the venom's been injected though, so we need to go to the hospital. I'm going to show you first aid shortly. But to ensure that you get there and, and are safe. Okay, have a look at these eyes. Hard to see, in fact. Most snakes have tiny little eyes. You see, they don't really need them. In fact, studies have been done where they've covered snakes' eyes, let them go out in the bush, radio tracked them and found them about another six months later and the snake hasn't deteriorated at all. Still kept its condition. It meant it was feeding. That tongue really all the snake needs. Most incredible sensory order. They smell and taste through it. It's not a stink. Isn't that just amazing? So therefore, snakes don't see for miles and miles. Well, particularly if they're out in the bush or in long grass, they would hardly be able to see at all. Could you imagine him in grass covering his head? Imagine him out in the bush. Rocks, logs, trees. You could probably hide behind a tree like this and he wouldn't know you there. In fact, I've done it a lot. That vibration thing, everybody says vibration. Walk clumsily through the bush, they say, and they don't see mm. snakes. Well, the snake sees something like this coming, he's out of there. I've snuck up behind snakes. They've been up behind a rock or a log or a tree, and I've jumped up and down, the snake hasn't budged. I've screamed. Well, they don't have ears like humans, so they can't hear. But when I've jumped out in front of the snake, and waved my hands over in front of him, by geez, if he could scream, I'm sure he would. Snakes react to movement. That's what they react to. Let's say we're walking along a track. I'm just going to pop him over here. Oh, I'd say, I wouldn't throw they don't bite once. The people bitten by this type of snake don't get bitten once, they get bitten three or four times in the blink of an eye and they say it increases the amount of venom that it injects with each bite. A lot of people regard this snake as the world's most dangerous snake. Now as you now know, I've worked with a lot of different snakes, not only from Australia, but throughout the world. I've never ever found a snake to be dangerous unless you did something to it first, like kill it, try and catch it, torment it. Stand still. Watch what happens when I move. Well, I'm not going to move. The bag is. Look at that. And then, if it gets it out the bag, it hides under it. Isn't that amazing? So pretend that's your leg going over a stump. And you stand completely still. The snake forgets about it pretty quick. Move and it's a different story. Isn't that amazing? You now know and you can see snakes react to movement. Stand still. Girls and boys, if this is the only thing you remember about my show, stand still. Well, that's going to make sure that there's less bites that we have here in Australia. It's the right thing to do. Stand still and let the snake pass. Mums and dads, have a look around your properties and see what you can do to make it safer for your kids. Get rid of the places where snakes are hiding. Thank you very much for listening to me talk about snakes. Mm. Hope you've had a great day here at the Pet Purpose School. We have, well, of course, enjoyed your company too. Please tell your friends and families about us. Love to see them too. If you like the books or kits, come and see me. If you want the photos, where's our wonderful photographers? Oh, there they are over there. Go and see Dave there. They'll help you out. Thank you very much. Safe journey.